This segment brought to you by Kansas Soybean Commission. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. Oh, are we back? <laughs> Sorry, I dozed off. Wake up, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Senior moment. <laughs> so, anyway, you know, there have been a lot of great uh, sportscasters through the years. One of my favorite, of course, was uh, Dizzy Dean. And, uh, you know, because he would always lead the crowd and take me out to the ball game for the seventh inning stretch. And, of course, his uh, home run call was, uh, you know, well-renowned. And, uh, anyway, uh, and, and, of course, uh, and then uh, Jack Buck for the St. Louis Cardinals and all that. So it's yeah, be... those were before my time, but I watched them on the History Channel, Frank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, uh, you know, uh, I worked at Wren many years ago, and they carried the Cardinals, and so I worked at night so I could study, and because I was in college at the time, and of course we carried the Cardinals, and so I got to listen to a lot of Jack Buck calling the uh, Cardinal games. I actually grew up listening. To in fact, I was, I, I, I was running the Cardinal game the night that it went to like 24 innings, something like that. It was like two o'clock in the morning, and I thought, "Who's still listening to this? I have to go to class in the morning." But anyway. Uh, where were we going with this? We were going to Mitch Holtis. <laughs> yes. And yes. speaking of great announcers, and I don't want to steal the thunder from your segment, so I messaged L. Dean, his ah. dad, who is a good friend of mine, uh -huh. and told him we were doing this segment on Mitch. And L. Dean, never at a loss for words, said um, <laughs> he is a strong practicing Christian and almost always includes a witness in his presentations, has a tremendous memory, and prides himself in knowing the mascots of all the high schools in Kansas. He has tremendous empathy and a deep sense of caring. We requested no flowers for Kathy's funeral. This is Mitch's mother who just passed away recently. Yet received 32 sprays. 29 from working associates of his or his wife, Tammy. He has shown great love to me and Kathy, especially at this time, in spite of the fact that I worked my boys so hard here at home. His wife, Tammy, is an angel, and I can vouch for that. And he will take Eldine's place on the home of on the range board. When Eldine leaves the board, he will take his place. And he also has a part in the movie. Home on the range. So let's take a look at the amazing Mitch Holtis. Mitch Holtis is the voice of the Kansas City Chiefs and is the longest tenured and most decorated play by play voice in franchise history. Following the NFL season, Mitch is a television play by play announcer for college basketball. His work has been featured on the ESPN family of networks, Fox Sports, and other national outlets. He primarily covers the Big 12 and the Missouri Valley Conferences, as well as the SEC. Holtus is a past recipient of the John Sanders Spirit of the Valley Award. Listeners throughout the Chiefs' kingdom join in with Holtus when he makes his signature call, Touchdown Kansas City! Mitch also hosts the High V Chiefs Insider television shows and various Chiefs website programming and MCs many Chiefs functions throughout the year. As an entrepreneur, Mitch writes, produces, and sells the Minute with Mitch radio and TV shows that air in season throughout the Chiefs' kingdom. Mitch is also a member of the Kansas Association of Broadcasters Hall of Fame, and this January will be inducted into the Kansas State University Athletics Hall of Fame. In September of 2012, Holtus was awarded an Emmy for his video and online work by the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. In addition, Mitch was named the Kansas City Sports Journalist of the Year in 2010. He has served on the board of directors of the National Sportscasters and Sports Writers Association and is a past president of the organization. Mitch has two degrees from Kansas State University. Folks from Smith Center, Mitch's hometown, know that he came by his gift of gab honestly. His dad, L. Dean, is a well-known and much-loved personality himself. L. Dean and his wife, Kathy, raised their sons with a work ethic that has continued to serve them well. Mitch and his wife, Tammy, have two children.
Clyde Sutton, Nest City, Kansas. Lived on this place all my life. About a year and a half ago, got to where I couldn't saddle a horse. The pain was terrible. Read about stem cell. First it wasn't for me, then they started doing neck and back. Before I uh, went down to uh, Manhattan, the pain I was having from my neck down to my hand was uh, curling my hand back. Some people had thought I almost had a stroke and my shoulder had drawed up. I, I couldn't lift, I couldn't sleep, I really couldn't do anything and was scheduled to be operated on but was scared of the knife, I guess. Went and had it done. As you can see, I saddled a horse. I'm still building fence. Love to shoot a shotgun rifle and I'm able to participate. Not like I used to, but nevertheless, I can do the things I used to do. And I want to personally thank the doctors, nurses, staff at Kansas Regenerative Medicine for the opportunity they give me to have my life back again.